What is the key to successful public speaking? Mm -hmm. What is that magic formula of the public speaker who will captivate their audience? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests. <coughs> Over the years, a growing number of people are attending public speaking forums to listen to pioneers in their field. <coughs> Some of us want to improve our public speaking skills and join groups like Toastmasters. In 1924, when Ralph Smedley began the Toastmasters concept, Lots of people joined in order to become effective leaders and communicators. Today, there are 345,000 Toastmasters around the world in more than 16,000 clubs in more than 140 countries. Furthermore, co companies like American Express, Google, Coca-Cola, Toyota and Walt Disney are among its corporate clubs. If we look at TED, technology, education, design, where ideas are worth sharing, the statistics are quite remarkable. In 1990, during the second TED event in California, people paid $4,075 to listen to 50 speakers deliver 18-minute talks. Today, there are five TED events organized every day around the world. The online TED videos are being viewed at the rate of 1.5 million per day, translated into 90 languages with 17 new viewings per second per day. In his phenomenal international bestseller, Talk Like Ted, Carmine Gallo and his group researched around 500 TED Talks and spoke personally with the individual top speakers in order to come up with the nine secrets to public speaking. Tonight, I will share with you one of them. Sorry. the beautiful and mysterious passion. As Gallo says in his book, passionate speakers reach the head and touch our heart. It is about unleashing that power within us in order to reach the audience through their passionate speech. Suzanne Muller, in her article, Tips About Passionate Speaking, defines passion as an exchange of energy. It's about being emotional with your audience. It's about being vulnerable and authentic. Research shows that uh, passion is contagious. If I'm passionate about something, I will transfer that passion to you. As Albert Einstein said, I'm not very talented. I'm just passionately curious. And Vincent van Gogh went even further when he said, I would rather die of passion than of boredom. <laughs> Amongst our fellow Toastmasters, we have a few passionate speakers. Wouldn't you agree? Now, Toastmaster Brian is a passionate speaker. Yes. <laughs> there you go. And of course, our own theatrical, Aline Andrea. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much, our dear, sexy cat. <laughs> when you think about the color, when you think about passion, what color comes to your mind? I have asked the 16 participants of our agenda tonight what color comes to their mind when they hear the word passion.
glowing red, passionate red, 50 shades of red, Bordeaux, pink. <laughs> and some people even mentioned green, blue, turquoise, and white. So perhaps, if you wear the color that you're most passionate about, you will bring that passion to your audience. Passion is not only used in public speaking, it can be used in various forms of art. Let's think of Argentina tango, for example. The woman is wearing red, the man is wearing black, and they come together in a sensual dance. Tonight, I will share with you my favorite tango song called Querer. The first verse goes like this. Love from inside the heart, with no shame, with no reason, with passions, fire. Thank you. <laughs>